How's everybody doing? We have a fascinating kit today, a ready to run from South Korea, the GMA GS02 Buffalo right here. So I'll do an unboxing and I'll give it a short test run. But basically I'm gonna tell you why it's compelling and who the right buyer is for this interesting vehicle. All right, here's the box. Always stealthy when you get it from G-Made. That smiley face. GS2, GS02 Buffalo, a strange name indeed. And what's special about this vehicle is it is ready to run. I reviewed quite a few G-Made vehicles already, even put them on a shootout. And who it's for uh, on the top end is someone who who wants something that not everybody else has, but some, something that's well made as well. You know, so here it is. It's like a Chevy, not licensed. They call it the Buffalo. So it's an SUV, kind of a military style, with a little antenna here. It has different versions of this SUV and they also have pickup trucks. And what I've had before are kits, kits that you put together yourself and you know, they're, they're much lower priced uh, about 300, 300 and change. This one is 534 and it's actually a pretty good value. And uh, let's get into it. So it comes blacked out, beautiful black paint. I mean, black is black, but they have a really nice pearl gloss to it. Unfortunately, blacked out windows, but uh, if it's gonna work anywhere, it's, it's, it's black on black, right? You'll notice it has a cool bumper, you know, like you're ready to ram into something. The has nice fenders. It doesn't have, what do you call that, sliders. So I, I'm not sure why, but that's, uh, I think it's definitely needed because otherwise you'd be hitting the Lexan. It's a very capable crawler. The bumper is interesting because it is integrated into the body. You know, not the best design, but it, it kind of works because of their body mounting function, which I'll get into in a second. The mirrors are cool, plastic. Do they pivot? They have a nice reflective thing here. And then the tires are kind of interesting. They're, they're, they're small, they, they look a little strange, and they have a lot of these big knobs, you know, but it's not very grippy because even though it's soft and vented, uh, the rubber itself is not very tacky. It comes with this transmitter, very cool, uh, removable handle, four channel, uh, and it's very nice. Uh, it's one of the better RTR ones that I've seen. It's got that nice feel to it, very light action trigger. Nice steering, spring-loaded, four-channel, and I think they use three of it. So another fascinating thing, oh, look at that antenna, super cool, uh, because when you're, when you're rolling, it kind of gives you the sense of scale and motion when you have an antenna that's bobbing like that. Maybe put something on the end here. Okay, so let's get into the body and the inside, and what's fascinating, you, I hope you guys notice that there's no holes and body clips. So what they have is body clips at the bottom. Um, so. It's a, it's a little tiny. I wish they gave you the tabs to hold these things. Uh, I would definitely move on to those. And what they have is a fairly cool design where it slides, slides uh, uh, up and down on the front, but on the back, it's uh, front to rear. So it's, it's, it's kind of cool. It is a little hard to, um, uh, to take off and put on until you get used to it. Maybe lube these, these pins initially. But there's the body. Uh, a lot of these body clips to attach the door handles, the mirrors, so you can take them off. The fenders are screwed on, so that's cool. Uh, and there's a lot of options for lights on this. Uh, these are real, uh, re real uh, light buckets that we have front and rear. Uh-huh, so very nice quality and not that heavy. The uh, wheel wells, as you can see, the wheel wells are not huge, so they don't completely cover uh, to the body. And what they have is, like, like, like I said, the radio. They have a 13 kg steering. That's pretty good, huh? Look at that. The, the steering itself is 45 degrees and what they call zero Ackerman, uh, meaning uh, the angles of the two wheels are correct. Turning radius is tight. Not the fastest, but 13 kg. Seems legit. Metal Gear Servo. Okay. And then we have the motor. The motor is only 540. I was a little disappointed at first, I must admit. First gear, some modulation.
Not the slowest. Could use lower gearing, I think. And it's pretty fast. And then second gear. Yeah, well, this modulator is good. Oh my god. That is fast. <laughs> the drive shafts are straight, so uh, it's smoother, less wear and tear, and they, they counter rotate, which is really cool because less torque twist. So let's see this. So as I gun it, to like this, this top speed on is like 13 miles an hour. You notice it doesn't go like this. That's called torque twist. And torque twist is critical on not only high speed, but low speed as well. If you are at the edge of balance, you, you throttle it and it goes like this, boom, you fall. <laughs> so you don't want torque twist. And th what they've done is counter rotating to eliminate torque twist. And yeah, that's fast. Okay, the other thing they do is overdrive box stock. So what they do is 14% overdrive, which is pretty decent. It's enough to feel it. Uh, so the front wheels spin faster than the rear. You, turn, you make tighter turns and then you climb a little better as well when traction conditions are good because your rear wheels are not pushing you uh, to turn over like a turtle, okay? So the overdrive, uh, if you don't like that, you do mostly tra trailing, um, meaning uh, not, not a lot of crawling. Uh, then you can make it zero with the optional gears. And then if you want more overdrive, like 22%, you buy an option gear for them as well, which is not that expensive, okay? So let me talk about the transmission. Transmission is right here. So they have a full-size servo, which is super cool because the, uh, it's under a bit of torque uh, until that servo locks into place. You have to kind of preload it and then, and then shift. And then the suspension. The suspension has these nice metal shocks. The damping, like most G-Maids, it, it seems a little light. I would like this a little bit bit heavier. Oh, look at that. It actually bounces <laughs> on a little drop. So this is way too light. Uh, either it's light or the piston holes are big. So I would change that. Uh, given the opportunity, the underside is cool. The, the axles are twisted forward a little bit. So they give you a better angle. And they're not that big, you know. Uh, not portals for sure, but uh, not, not a lot of interference here. They also have a high what do you call that, a high knuckle? Um, I think it's right here where there's less down low to interfere with rocks, okay? Big links, six millimeter links, super cool. They have a, a clutch, a dual slipper clutch to make it more even rather than just pressing on one side, press on both sides as, as it slips. So not too bad, huh? Not too bad. So. Uh, they have a like a four channel rece uh, receiver, a a three set three S ESC right here, forty amp I think. It's just shocking how fast this thing is. And one thing really cool is it is front loaded. Um, it's almost like sixty forty box stock uh, because the motor is here, the servo is here, the battery is here. So super cool uh, without even doing anything. So. To close, I'll, I'll show you some option parts that they do. Uh, luckily, they support this product pretty nicely. Let's see. Um, th this came with it. I think these are, uh, this is stock, some lenses and whatnot. And then I believe this is an option. G made. So G made roof rack with LED light bar. So this is a roof rack, super cool on this body. LEDs, full, oh, full LEDs, full lights, light lenses and whatnot. Uh, hardware, very cool stuff. Um, you have a servo. What is this for? Oh, it's not a servo. Uh, it's a little brace for the front, not for your servo, but for your, for your links. Oh, I guess your servo, it puts, goes right here protects your arm and your main link when you're really crawling. And then you have some LEDs. So the g -Mate LEDs are cool because they are very powerful. Uh, and here, that's for the light bar and this is for the body. So there you go. I hope uh, that was enough to intrigue you. 534 
uh, from our partner Amain. And if you want, uh, it'll help us out if you click through our links. But if you have, if you want to put it together yourself, you want to pick up. These are all available as well. But the exciting time is it's a ready to run from GMade, uh, and it's ready to rally. Thanks a ton, guys.